Well, if one picture sums up the state of affairs at the Dayton Art Institute, it might be Edvard Munch's The Scream. Tonight, many worry DAI could soon be DOA. Once again, more changes at the top there as Michael Rediger and Jane Black take over the leadership roles there. The new team says it is working on a business model designed to erase budget woes, woes that have in the past year forced the museum to close two days a week and ask patrons for donations after many years of free admission. Today, the interim director of the DAI agreed to answer our questions about those troubles. Jordan Burgess live with an interview that's first on two. Jordan? And you can add to that list of troubles a search for a new curator after the current one took a job elsewhere. But those at the museum told me today they've got some broad brushstrokes in mind to give the place a fresh look. If you were to paint a picture of the Dayton Art Institute, what would it look like? I think it is a contemporary picture. We're in a contemporary gallery. It's not April Gornick's storm picture over there. I'd say more it's a happy picture like the Frank Stella over here. I think it's very hopeful. You wouldn't want to put too much green in it. Officials here haven't seen much of that lately. It was a perfect storm. I mean, the economy went south in Ohio and a lot of other places and people are you know are not spending money the way they used to. But be careful of making that painting too dark. The Institute remains an open space. We are not close to closing. We're not going to close. You may want to make your picture iconic. The Institute has been here for decades even as the city has changed around it. Art is forever. It's how you approach it, it's how you interact with it, and it's how accessible it is. Perhaps you wouldn't want to do a painting at all. Maybe a sculpture, something hands-on that kids would love. However, one of our goals is to diversify our audiences, get more young people in here, get people of all walks of life. Maybe your picture will be a Monet-style masterpiece and draw people from far and wide, like the blockbuster exhibits the Art Institute had in the 90s. But would the cost be worth it? If so many people would come to these blockbusters, but it doesn't mean that they come back. And what we want people to do is to come over and over again, bring their families. Whatever you come up with, people will have opinions on it. With the Art Institute's move to wireless technology, you could even get instant feedback. You'll be able to really almost talk to the piece, look at videos, blog about it, interact. But the bottom line is, will people pay to ponder over your piece at a museum? That's not an issue you or the Dayton Art Institute can easily brush aside. I'm somewhat concerned. I'd be foolish to say that I'm not. However, we have no plans to go out of business. Uh, this is too much of a treasure here. The community's not going to let us go out of business. And the Art Institute is counting on a big display of Norman Rockwell paintings coming in November to bring in more people. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.